When I first saw the news that Argyle and Butte Council were recruiting wardens in preparation for thousands of camper vans to return to the area this summer, I thought, here we go, more council and media camper van bashing. But stick with us to find out why I was wrong. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. The news that four wardens are being recruited by Argyle and Butte Council to cover 120 power parks and a number of other sites, I thought was just another anti-camper van council measure. But when I dug into it a bit more, I was surprised to find the opposite. The initiative, which is overseen by the council's dedicated staycation officer, is to help manage a number of initiatives to try and make it easier and better for both campervan owners and local residents to get on. These include public toilets being available for campervan users, additional temporary facilities being added in five locations, and with the aim of discouraging the disposal of chemical toilet and wastewater at these locations, stickers have been rolled out, providing a link to the council's wastewater disposal facilities map, which shows locations where wastewater and chemical toilets can be emptied responsibly. The executive director of the council, Kirsty Fanagan, said, it's worth pointing out that while there were literally thousands of camper vans and campers across Argyle and Butte in 2021, the vast majority of these were responsible and respectful to our environment and communities. And Councillor Robin Curry, Policy Lead for Economy and Rural Growth said, Tourism is a major contributor to the local economy and the increase in visitors choosing to staycation in Argyle and Butte is extremely welcome. Thousands of visitors come to enjoy everything the area has to offer and the vast majority of people are responsible. So with over £500,000 allocated by the council to support staycation, you can see they are taking it seriously. If only more councils across the UK took a similar stance, realised the value that camper vans can bring to an area, provided facilities and recognised that the vast majority of us are respectful and responsible. So I think Argyle and Butte are deserving of a big thank you and I hope everyone that does visit keeps up the positive behaviours and other councils take note. You can find links to the Argyle and Butte staycation website in the video notes. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.